Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I am here today with my It's Panty Cats and Dogs Project Pan Update. Uh, this was started by Deb and Danny. I will link them down below. This is a fantastic ladies community collab of which I will also link the Facebook group and the list of everybody doing this down below. I have two empties this time, which I'm really excited about. Well, an empty and a gold met, but same thing for our purposes. The empty I have is for best in breed. I chose for my oldest dog, Mo. I will insert his picture here. And I chose the Urban Decay Eyeliner in Love Drug. I will insert my paper progress for you guys, but it is done. It is very dead. Like it's starting to have like the plastic that holds the wax or the plastic or whatever it is that holds in the product peek out. So we are very done with this. And for, and today I finished this. It is the domestic short, short hair or large category. I chose an eyeshadow palette. I have a lot of eyeshadow. And I chose the Praise for Your Face Live in the Moment palette. I wanted to use it 10 times, but I decided specifically I wanted to use each shade twice. And as of today, I did that. So here are the shades in it. Today in particular I used the purple on my eyes and I actually used the pink on my cheeks. Because I'm filming this a day early I decided to actually pop one on my cheeks but I have used that on my eyes before as well and it is very pretty. This is where I was keeping track of my usage on all the shades. It is done. I'm very happy about that. And I'm just happy in general to get some more usage on that palette. So starting from the top, first of everything I have progress on, first I have ball or toy or something that rolls away. I have the DB Flawless Strobing Stick. I've been kind of forgetful about using this for the past month. I've only used it like five times. I do have a little bit of paper progress, but you know, still hanging strong. I really need to get better about this. I started baking my face like with powder, <sighs> but uh, I've tried to have, I've had to kind of like adjust my routine slightly, which means I forgot this on some days because I was putting the powder down to bake and then being like, oh crap, I forgot to put on my cream, you know, cheek products. So I think I've gotten the handle on that, but so hopefully next month we can have some better progress or else I'm, that is going to be in here all year. Next is something else that is going to be in here all year unless I get a move on on it. It is boxer or item in a box, which this was in a box. This is the Flush, Flush Pot Eye and Cheek Gloss. I actually use this on my lips though, because I'm very oily. Using gloss on my eyes or cheeks is just a recipe for disaster. I've used it once and uh, it actually changed weight this time. It went from 23.8 grams to 23.7. I'm just happy that it actually changed weight. It only has 2.9 grams of product in there. It's something that I could certainly go through pretty easily if I would just, you know, use it, but that would require me to remember to use it. I actually lost one of my lip glosses that I'm panning and I can't find it. That really pisses me off. So I have one thing that I'm trying to get 20 uses on and then I'm probably just going to move on to this so that I can get it used up. Or, Cause I do like it as a lip gloss, even though it's a little bit messy to use with your finger. I don't mind that too badly though. It's very pretty as a lip gloss. So. But I do want to start getting more uses on it so that it's not one of those things hanging around here already for too long. <laughs> All right, so next is the other palette that I have in here currently. It is the For a Munchkin Cat Childlike Packaging. I chose another Pretties for Your Face. It is the Sugar Rush palette. I definitely say that is Childlike Packaging. And I was focusing on the other palette this month, but I did use the shade Glitch once, this purple shade right here. And my goal for it is the same as it was for the other one, to use each shade twice. So I need to use a Glitch once, and then I need to use these three shades two times, which I'm going to work on the next month, so that I can also get this rolled out of here, because they've been hanging on for too long with very little progress on them. Next is Best of Breed. I, I added in the next one for my Chihuahua Beals, who is surprisingly not in here tonight, so I have to insert a picture for her. Uh, she is a lip balm thief, so I chose a lip balm. She's actually not the one that chewed on this one in particular. My littlest Chihuahua Zazie, who in the next month or two I will add something for her. And I'm, 
it might end up being a lip balm because she is also a damn lip balm thief. She takes every bad habit from her sister that she can. So uh, it's the Tower 28 uh, Juice Balm in the shade Mix. I will take off the chewed to hell cap so you don't have to look too closely at it. Here is what I have. I will insert my paper progress. I've used it 15 times since last time. Honestly, I sh this should have at least like 25 uses on it. I've just been forgetful about applying lip balm at night. This has been like my bedside lip balm, which is why my dog has been able to get to it. <sighs> but just a little bit on the brain dead side with it for the past month. So uh, two empties leaves me with two new things that I can roll in. First for Shih Tzu or Maltese, something that is small but has a big impact. I actually chose a... What is this? The brow cream. Like, you know, like a dip brow, but not dip brow because that is Anastasia. This is the Chella Tantalizing Tote Brow Cream. It comes with a little brush on one side. And then this is the side that has the product in it. It doesn't seem like a ton, but it definitely has an impact. I went a little overboard today because it was my first time using it. I wasn't expecting to have to use it today, but uh, my brow pencil ran out like as I was starting my brow. So then I thought I broke that whole pencil. It's the alley oop one with like the four sides. I couldn't get another side to pop out for a little bit. I thought I broke the damn thing. I managed to fix that though, so I have to be careful with it. But I am now on a brow pencil, so I am moving on to this brow cream dip brow thing. What are those things called? <sighs> not brow gel. I can't remember the name of it right now. It's not a big deal. And next is, and the other thing I am rolling in is Border Collies, which are highly intelligent uh, dogs. So the, the prompt for this is something that doesn't need a lot of skill to use. So I choose a skincare item because all you gotta do is rub that on your face. <laughs> This is the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. It is just a little mini, but I do want to get through some more of these prompts. This has been a pretty slow project pan so far. So while I am also going to throw in stuff like this, which is probably going to take me months to use up, I am also going to start throwing in more of these like little small things so that I can get to at least a few more prompts. Now it does have a weight, as does the cella because I don't quite know how to track this. I'm gonna track my uses on this one as well because I track uses on makeup now. But otherwise it's like, I guess I gotta weigh it. This weighs 9.4 grams. I have no idea if it's gonna change much month to month. I don't even know how much is in here. 1.3 grams. So in other words, it's not going to change a ton month to month. This uh, is 14.9 grams. I can't believe this weighs more than a full size brow product, but there you go. But this will probably be done by next month, so I can roll something else in. So that is it. Next month, I am hoping for this and at least this to be done and get some better usage on some other products. And maybe at least have an idea of how much I could use of this in a month. <laughs> probably not a lot. So thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully, I will see you later. Bye!